Chris here with Zipkit Hose. I'm standing here with Briar and Caleb. These guys are going to put this deck on this house. This is the Columbia model, and we're putting the deck that goes out over the garage. I'm Jamie. And I'm Chris. We build modern, efficient kit homes really fast. Follow us as we show you a better way to build. decking company that um, we just got set up as a dealer. It's called DuraLife Decking. They have some really cool features that I'll show you. One of the features is the color options that they have are way better than Trex or Fiberon. It's a, there's some really cool kind of colors that look just like wood. So we like the colors. The other thing is they have this innovative system to space your decking and to, to put it down. So I'll show you how this works. But um, basically they're nailing this to each stringer and then the deck just clips in. So we're gonna try it out and see how it works. Another thing I want to show you is what we got out here. So if you look at this, we want to do a, a deck out here. We want the deck to be exactly flat. So what we've done, the, the framing actually slopes so that all the water will run out. And on that face piece, you can see it's got about an inch gap so water can run out. And then the deck goes on top. So all the, we, we put the deck in on top, it's exactly flat. The water drains down. It hits this, this area that slopes so the water can run out. So that's what these pressure treated uh, stringers are on here is um, to flatten out the deck because this slopes. So now we're just gonna show uh, how we connect these down. All you do is you nail it down with a roofing nailer. They send out coil nails, but it's just a basic roofing nailer, coil nailer, um, using galvanized nails, because obviously that would get wet. And we're just gonna, it's, it's important that we start it right on in the beginning. So we talk to chop line so we know exactly where each one of these little black things go. They're gonna nail it on, and then we'll show you how everything goes together. So it's just a clip system that the piece of decking has a notch and it will just go right there and right there. The old way of decking I've done a lot is where you have to actually space each piece. So you've got a nail or a spacer. It's kind of a pain to do it. So hopefully this works really well. It's got these little clips right here so that you know right where to go on the stud. six hours to put down that 300 square foot deck. Yeah. It's the first time we've used this system, so there's a little bit of figuring out what works and what doesn't. Yeah. But um, all in all, it went pretty quick. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple things here. So if you kind of zoom in on this, this is the clip system. So you put this whole clip we showed you, goes over the joist, and then these just clip on. So um, Briar, what did you think of the clip system? Uh, it's a whole lot easier than putting on a traditional deck. Why is it easier? What makes it easier? Uh, you don't have to screw every joist. Yeah. yeah. It gets your gapping exact yeah, too. Yeah, right? gapping's perfect on it. And, and when we go look out of the deck, you'll see there's almost no fasteners. So you're clipped in and there's all the fasteners on the on the clip, but what you see from the top is almost no screws at all. So that's pretty cool. Caleb, what'd you think of it? I thought it was really slick. You thought it was pretty slick, huh? Went up really quick. One person could snap it in. A couple things we learned. So when we got this, it said use a roofing nail gun to nail these plastic things down over the top of the joist. So we just put one in the middle, but then we found that doesn't work as well. So then you guys would put, show me where you would put the nails when you did this. I uh, would put one on each edge next to where it clips in. And that worked a lot better, right? Yeah. So when we had one in the middle, 
this was just a little bit too flexible in the middle. It wasn't connected that good. But when we put a roofing nail close to the edge like this. Yeah, it made, made it more, more stiff. So it made the whole deck a lot stiffer. So that worked pretty well, right? Yeah. So one of the things we do want to talk about, the expansion and contraction. So we'll show you out here, when you have a butt joint, you're supposed to gap it about 3 16 of an inch. And that's because this is a, it's a wood plastic core. So it's made out of plastic, like it's actually recycled plastic, like milk jugs, and then a bunch of wood fibers mixed together. But this, because it's got plastic in it, it will expand and contract. So the same when you're doing a butt joint, meaning like this, you're actually supposed to gap it like 3 16 of an inch. And we gapped everything about 3 16 yeah. And we did it when it was cold. It was snowing here this morning in June. Yeah. But um, as we did that, now we'll go look at it where the sun's shining on it, it's tight. So there is no gap. In fact, I was teasing Brian saying, dude, why didn't you gap it? He did, but the sun hit it and expanded. But if you look in the shade, it's gapped. So we'll go out and look at that so you can see kind of how the expansion and contraction works. But if you don't gap it, if you're just to put it tight like this when it's cold, then when it, when it goes to expand, it's got nowhere to go. So it can actually kind of pop up a little bit. So you definitely, and it also depends on if you're installing this on a hot day in the sun, I wouldn't gap it very much. I'd gap it like a 16th because it's already expanded. And if you're, if, you're, if you're doing it in the cold or in the shade, I'd gap it more like 3 16 because when it gets hot, it's going to close in. You can't even see it, but he, there's a plug right there. You see that? So you can almost see it, but that's where he screwed it right there and there's a plug. There's another one screwed right there and there's a plug. Two of them right there. So you can see the plugs almost hide the screws. So this whole deck looks like there's almost no screws in it.